Good morning, YouTube. Louie here with the best silver gold deals of Friday, October 4th, 2024. Let's roll. Very interesting action in the markets. Okay, we have got gold up $2.10 at 2,658 and silver up 11 cents to 32.10. The GSR is at, uh, looks to be, is that 83.10? Yeah, with silver moving faster than gold, gold stalling out a little bit here as a result of uh, higher rates and higher dollar, but uh, silver taking a tailwind from the commodity run, and I think this GSR is going to push um, much lower, which would be good for silver. Uh, gold may stall here. The 10-year, as I said, has been moving up. Now we're at 3.871 as people take rate cuts off the table. And the dollar, uh, let's see, appears to be down this morning. Let's get a longer chart. Um, no longer around 100. Now sitting at 101.86. That's a pretty recent high for the dollar. Looks like it'll top out right around there. Copper prices. Copper prices have been moving steadily up, if you can see this line here. And we are retesting a previous low of 455. Looks like it held. And as of this morning, copper is up two cents to 4.57. Again, as people anticipate commodity inflation going forward. On the economic calendar, today is Friday, our last day to really get a good deal, hopefully. Uh, let's see, and we have got the big news today is non-farm payrolls at 8.30. That is in about 23 minutes. The unemployment rate, hourly wages, a Fed head speaker, and another uh, Austin, no, Chicago Fed President Austin, Austin Goolsby. Yeah, another Fed head speaker. Okay, but uh, this will move the markets, the unemployment rate, and the non-farm payrolls, and uh, we'll see if they are weak. That will be good for us. If they are strong, there could be big moves in the gold and silver market today. So don't know which way that is going to go. In the pre-market, the stock market can't be stopped here. The Fear Greed Index is up at 71, not that far from extreme um, greed. We have got the Dow futures up 69, S&P futures up 15, NASDAQ futures up 73 and a half. Now, when, uh, what's been really interesting lately, if you don't know, um, oh, and by the way, welcome to the videos. If you're brand new, I do these uh, most every day. We're looking for the best price of silver, gold, platinum, palladium, anywhere uh, on the internet and some uh, coin shops as well. And uh, that's what we're doing here. And the videos describe uh, the website, bestsilvergolddeals.com. And I'm just giving you a little backdrop as to when I would buy or when I would sell um, before we get to finding the best deals. So welcome. Please subscribe if you want to see more of this. Thumbs up if you like what I'm doing here. And get over to the website and subscribe there as well. It's totally free. Now, a little, a little primer here on the silver market. Most of us are used to watching the Kitco spot price, right? And they've had some glitches lately. Uh, they really have got problems uh, with their data feeds. But uh, we watch Kitco, and for example, silver right now is 32.04. And we think that is the price that moves the market. But in reality, um, if we get over to silver futures, the price of silver in the future is what really kind of moves the market and people trade. All right, and what's been happening and what I was watching yesterday um, was uh, this, uh, this push back up to, uh, let's see, what is this, September, I don't know, about two, three week uh, high. We had, uh, I can't really see these numbers, but you can see we, we peaked to a high right around 32.50. We peaked again to right around 32.50 on September 26th. And yesterday, uh, we got back up to 32.50 and fell back. It is pushing silver futures prices uh, want to move through 32.50, and they may or may not, depending on the release today. We could see a 31 handle easily, or we could push to, through to 32.50. And if we do that, which we have been trying to do over and over again, look at the upside. Look at the, can you see, I'm on a five-year chart here, and there is nothing but clear blue sky, okay, until we get up to um, 
34, I think that's 3466. So we could see a drop, a significant drop today if uh, jobs come in stronger, or we could actually break out above the 3250 futures uh, level and uh, see a couple dollar move to the upside. Very, very interesting, and that's why I've been watching this, um, you know, day by day. We got through it for, you know, a few minutes, and then we're pushed back yesterday, and here we are pushing again. It's very much like gold, when gold was pushing at 2,000 over and over again, and look at where we are now. This is what I think is happening in silver, supported by the commodity market uh, inflation expectations. Um, but gold is not the reason silver is moving here. Gold is showing some weakness. Um, could actually go lower if the 10-year stays strong. But uh, silver is what is most exciting right now. And you could make an argument to trade some gold for silver right here, even though nine times out of 10, when we get up to a resistance level, we fail pitifully. Um, but uh, that may not happen this time. Let's get going on the deals. We'll go a little faster today. We've got a one-tenth gold eagle at bold at 299. We have a one-tenth maple at liberty at 295. We have a one-tenth Britannia at um, liberty at 278. We have a one-tenth Philharmonic at liberty at 285. And so the Britannia, I believe, is your best bet this morning at the big uh, bullion dealers. A one-quarter ounce gold eagle bullion exchange is 723. A one-quarter ounce Britannia SD bullion 713. A $5 commemorative is uh, 657 at Monument Metals. We've got a half ounce gold eagle at bold for 1414 and a half ounce maple at Liberty for 1391 We have a one ounce gold eagle at Bullion Exchanges, 2753 Nothing up on Costco this morning. We've got a one ounce buffalo, same place, 2768 Look at those prices, wow. That'll curdle your hair. We have a one ounce gold maple, 2717 Not a bad price considering gold, about $50 less than that. Uh, spot about fifty dollars less than that right now. We've got a Krugerrand at Bullion Exchanges, two thousand six eighty three, which I often say is the cheapest of the gold uh, sovereign gold coins. And if you're not buying eagles, uh, why, do, why are you buying anything other than Krugerrands? Your LCS will probably pay you the same for a maple, which uh, well, no, for a. Uh, yeah, for this maple, 2,717, you may get the same price. 2,717 is what you paid for that. As the Krugerrand, which you paid 2,683, so some food for thought there. I say that over and over. The 100 Corona, pretty close to spot in this deal here. The 1 100th Scottsdale, Scottsdale Gold Bar, very, very teeny little gold bar. That's about $100 if you're looking for small gold. All right, and in the 20 franc category, we are still under 500 bucks at 498 at BGASC. Not a bad deal. Platinum Eagles are at Golden Eagle, 1,188. Don't buy that unless you're a collector, but if you just like platinum, platinum, grab this coin here, the Kangaroo, 1,084. I keep saying platinum one of these days, uh, 1,000 is going to be uh, support instead of resistance. I think platinum is going to make a move, but platinum and palladium are hindered by the uh, Carmageddon going on with the auto retailers. Yeah, it turns out people can't afford a $100,000 truck and don't want to buy a piece of crap uh, Dodge product that's going to break in a year and find the dealership out of business and then they can't, you know, they just don't have the money. A one ounce platinum bar is going for 1060 Great price here for Arger Horaeus platinum bar in assay SD bullion. That's pretty good for platinum, not bad. What is that, 40 bucks over spot? Uh, let's see, palladium is going for 1166 Palladium goes in uh, combustion engines, traditional engines. Platinum typically goes in the catalytic converters of um, diesel, uh, diesel engines, with some variation on that theme. And we've got palladium this morning at uh, 1016 platinum at that 1005 So you do pay up for palladium quite a bit. 
but it is quite a bit more rare. All right, one silver eagle at spot at bullion exchanges. Same place, remainder of the tube, 36.43. Cheapest in a quantity of 20 over at Pinehurst Coins, $36. Look at those eagles run. Wow, man, eagles. You gotta have some eagles in your stack. If you are just, well, I hope I, I hope if we get the run today up to 35 or 33, 34, 35 and higher, I hope you have built uh, your stack. I hope you've got something uh, already put away. We've been talking about this for months and months, and I've been talking about it for 10 years actually on YouTube. But uh, I really hope for you guys, you've, you've got some silver put away for the run that is coming. And if we get a pullback, and I kind of hope we do, because I want to get down to the LCS and buy something, kind of hope we get a dollar pullback today. That would make me actually happy. We'll take another run at 32.50 uh, um, on the futures market. That might be 32.25 in the spot market. Um, we're going to keep pushing on this and uh, there, there's some interesting stuff going on in the silver market and I really hope you've got some metals set away so you can enjoy this run rather than uh, FOMO into it but uh, I think the FOMO is coming. Okay, uh, nothing new at the U.S. Mint. My green light is on. I'm not giving up on this run, that's for sure. Here's a new article. India's record silver imports from the UAE is a paradigm shift in supply chain. And I'm not so much focused on that. And this article may be a few months old. But I want to alert you to, uh, you know, we think about China all the time and the reinvigoration and the stimulus in the China market is um, spurring uh, the commodity run here and Chinese stocks up whatever 10% in three days or whatever's going on over there. But you cannot ignore India. I've been recommending India as a uh, stock pick for a while. Um, you cannot ignore India. I mean, it's an enormous population and uh, they have a tremendous need for silver um, in many, many forms, but solar panels are one of those forms. Take a look at what India imported in 2022. 8,000 tons, okay? Second only to China. Now, you know, and I don't know offhand, uh, you can check out uh, Road to Ruta if you want to know more about India imports. He follows that closely, and I believe it is spiking, especially when the price drops, which is creating a buy the dip moment in the silver market on the industrial side. It's not the retail FOMO collectors right now uh, as much as it is industrial collectors, I'm sorry, industrial producers needing this commodity. That's why coin shops can sell their silver at uh, you know 25 cents under spot and the refiners melt it and send it off to China and India. But 6,000 tons now, I don't know a lot about tonnage and conversions, but I'm just going to do, I'll probably do this wrong. Okay, let's do the math on 8,000 tons, if that is about what they do in a year. Could be higher, could be lower, but let's do this math. 8,000 tons, one, two, three, times 2,000 pounds in a ton. I could be wrong, I might be wrong about that, but let's see what that is. And times 12 troy ounces in a pound. And maybe it's a different metric than that. I'm not sure. But here we go. Now take out the zeros. One, two, three. One, two, three. That is 192 million ounces imported in the year of 2022. And similar, if not higher, imports um, you know, in subsequent years. And again, it does fluctuate. So look at how much silver is going to India. Okay, and second only to China. This is why there is a, a commodity squeeze on silver right now. So I just wanted to point that out to you. Do not ignore India. And if you check the um, INDA ETF price, this is the Indian market, and we're going to get a one year chart. This is what's going on in India. Look at that run from whatever, 43 up to 57. India is in a full bull run and uh, in a uh, expansion phase. I mean, like, I don't know, 5, 10 or more percent GDP. So, and a huge population. And what do they need? They need silver. They need solar panels. They probably need, you know, electric cars and everything and infrastructure. I mean, my God, imagine what uh, infrastructure they need in India. And of course, it's a poor country. Um, but 
Um, and then there is the population, which believes in gold and silver. So, uh, you know, you can read the writing on the wall. The, the industrial demand for silver is outstripping the supply. And there were articles recently about the cost of manufacturing increasing for silver miners, um, which does not help things at all because um, they're going to make less, you know, if their costs uh, go up. And with rising oil prices, which is the last domino to fall in the commodity uh, space, uh, maybe wood might be the next one, um, you know, uh, oil moving back to $100, especially if something blows up in the Middle East, ain't going to help anything because there's a lot of oil used in mining. Um, so there you go. Uh, sorry I digressed, but I wanted to get to that. Uh, we got one silver maple at spot, bullion exchanges, same place, 34.65. We've got kangaroos at 34.48, same place. We've got Britannia's SD bullion, 34.53. And then we got these Philharmonics, which are 3350 at Bullion Express. Okay, nothing at Costco. We'll keep watching, and I'll send alerts to subscribers of the website. So get subscribed there if you want to get my alerts. Um, and we've got junk, which, uh, let's see, 23.81 times face for Kennedy Habs at Bullion Express. And then you'll pay more for the Walkers and more still for the Mercs. All right, the 10-ounce bars are going to be uh, 33.8, considering 32.27 silver. Oh, looks like we had, excuse me, I got the hiccups. Uh, looks like we had a little sell-off in silver. Uh, that'd be great if we did. And we're pushing up on 523, and of course all government data is leaked to the insiders because, like, they're not rich enough. So maybe that means we're going to have a strong labor report. Uh, the NQS Indian is still on sale at 33.54 at Golden State Mint, and uh, let's do a quantity of 20 buffaloes at Pinehurst, 33.27. Good deal there. Not much over spot. Your LCS may have silver for less though. They are selling it pretty cheap these days. Generic silver that is, and uh, eagles. Hard to find uh, an LCS that is charging less than four over spot for BU Eagles. If you do, buy them. Okay, and of course, uh, Costco is going to be a better deal if they ever put the Eagles back up for more than a minute. All right, and we've got a kilo can be had at Bold for 1072 all right, higher than yesterday. On eBay, we're going to check the silver. We're going to do Silver Eagles. And Silver Eagles are going for $35.50 for the Culls and $35, I'm sorry, $36.50 for the BUs. Uh, I take about a dollar off if you have the two credit cards I recommend. Remind me when I get to uh, the credit cards to talk about the Chase card. All right, I won't forget today. All right, we got maples going for eight fifty a tube. Uh, I don't think that's a real. It's probably more like eight eighty. Uh, we've got Britannia's going for eight sixty eight a tube. You can do the math. We've got kangaroos going for eight fifty a tube. Let's see, is this a pickup only? Ten dollars shipping. Eight sixty for these kangaroos from two thousand sixteen. Is that the first year? Uh, no, that's the second year. The first year was only 3.9 silver, uh, in case you didn't know that. Okay, and uh, we've got Krugerrands going for 8.69. So, uh, well, about 8.70, 8.70 divided by 25. The full price is 34.80 a coin, times 0.97 with the Amex card or the PayPal card, or maybe 0.95 if you have this Chase card, uh, is 33.75, so good deal on any of those sovereign coins there. Um, and junk, can we get junk cheaper than these high prices? Uh, we aren't gonna get it at 219, that is for sure. Uh, somebody was giving away Mercs yesterday, um, so you guys snag that. Uh, 40 silver quarters, no calls. Um, there's a seller with no feedback? What kind of seller are you? Uh, well, I'll let you check into this guy, but uh, it's going to be 22.5 times face, and then about 21 point... Too cheap. It's too cheap. What's wrong with this seller? What's wrong with this seller? 
what's wrong with this seller? 50 items sold. Where's your feedback? Feedback. Zero feedback. Hasn't sold in a long time. Could be a hacked account. I would probably avoid that, although um, that is a great price. Uh, yeah, you're going to have to go to 23.9 times face and then about 23 times face after rebates. That seller looks suspicious to me. Sometimes they hack eBay, account eBay accounts that are inactive and then they throw scams up. All right, and the big lots are going to be a little cheaper. You know I like the Carson Cities. You know I like the Morgans for their collector numismatic value. Libertads are going to be about 1000 a tube. That's what I want to go buy today at the LCS if we can get a smackdown. Report in three minutes. We've got the cheapest kilo is 1071, about 1040 after rebates. The kilo kook is 1140, about 1100 after rebates. And the tuba kooks is uh, 36 a coin, 36.50 a coin, 35.50 for tuba kooks after 3% rebates. We've got the best deal in a large lot of rounds, 33.79, about 32, 32, 80 something. Um, so that is going to be. Uh, 80 cents or so over spot for buffaloes or random rounds. I won't do the next deal, any of these others here. The 100 ounce bar should get you right around spot. 33.25, about 32. Look, look what they're selling, that new Una bar. Oh, out of stock, yeah. And I like the old, I like the Royal Mint bar more than this also ran bar. Okay, uh, 33.55, are they in stock? 3355 free shipping good seller I'm going to be 3250 for a 100 ounce bar um, so yeah a little over spot on 100 ounce bars there but you know vermilion is paying a dollar back a spot for any size silver bar right now oh look at that a pan am bar for 3300 it's going to charge a lot for shipping i guess 57 dollars shipping what is wrong with you holy mackerel Come in priority mail, he's going to insure it, although insurance doesn't pay out on silver. Oh, big surprise, you're paying for nothing. Yeah. Okay, uh, we can get a Platinum Eagle on eBay for $12.33. Take about $36 off. September jobs report is imminent, but we got to do gold. Random gold as cheap as $283. Random quarter ounce gold as cheap as $704. Random quarter ounce gold eagle is as cheap as uh, I don't think it's going to be 725. I want to catch this release here. Uh, yeah, yeah, seller, eight dollar shipping, 732. So 20 bucks off will put you at about uh, 712 or 710 on a gold eagle from 2020. It's a good deal on a quarter ounce gold eagle if you're buying upscale um, American gold. Uh, let's do a one ounce gold eagle here. One ounce gold eagle, twenty-seven eighty-nine minus rebates, which would be about eighty bucks. Um, did I forget random half ounce gold? I did. Random half ounce gold is going to be thirteen thirty-five. No, it's going to be more like thirteen eighty, and then take about. Uh, 30, 40 bucks off, about 13, 40. No, that's too cheap. I'm trying to catch CNBC here as I speak. 1379. Now double that would be 26, 27, 60, and then take uh, 75 bucks off. You'd be under 2700 on half ounce gold. Nobody wants that ugly coin, so you got to move up the chain past the ugly head coins, and then you're looking at no, I don't want a Singapore coin. Probably this Philharmonic here. 1400 for a half ounce Philharmonic. Um, 2800 melt, but then closer to 27, low 2700s melt on a half ounce Philharmonic. Um, so there you go. If you want that, I'm going to take a minute here. Uh, I'll do the Buffalo while I wait. Here, oh, here is the report September non farm payrolls 254. Oh my God, versus 144 estimate. Unemployment falls to 4.1. Very bullish on the labor market. Not a disappointment. There are more jobs uh, being created and fewer people getting laid off, at least on the headline news. Let me wait and see if there's another release here. Just give me a second and I will grab my coffee. I think we're going to get a buying opportunity, guys. 
Non-farm payrolls, 254 versus 154. Okay, let's see what that's going to do to the market. That's going to cause a sell-off today. Uh, let's see if it doesn't. Yeah, there it is. There it is. And I'm actually kind of excited by that because um, what goes around comes around. Okay, so you're going to get a buying opportunity in gold. Now down $14.80. And silver down $0.24. Cents. Could be down as much as a dollar today after this gets rolling. So don't buy right off the bat. Put the stuff that you like in your cart and wait to snag it if you can get closer to 31 um, I don't think it'll crack 31 personally. Uh, okay, very bullish labor market, and that is going to send the 10-year up. See, people knew this beforehand. Uh, oh my God, look at the 10-year, 395, guys. That is murder. That is murder. And the dollar up 58.8 cents to 102.53. Wow, well, that's going to kill the bondholders today, and uh, people short the dollar. Um, so that is good for us if we are buying and, uh, guess I should have seen it coming. All right. But there it is. Now you've seen it hold off to get the dip in the day. And, uh, this may be short lived because the, the, uh, silver price definitely wants to push up gold. I think, uh, could be weaker here. So, uh, let me get back to wherever I was and keep going. Lots of good op gold opportunities here on eBay. Check them all out. Here is stuff in my store. Ask me for a friend discount. If there's anything in there you want to buy, I loaded a bunch of new stuff yesterday. Uh, let's see. So, uh, we've got uh, three ounce silver bars. We've got Una and the Lion bars. Uh, we've got some new silver bars that I poured. This is that Skull Privy bar. Um, no, this is a 1.7 ounce uh, dimple bar. Very, very pretty. I thought somebody bought that. Maybe not. Um, and some other stuff. Yeah, and I'm loading up these Halloween pours. You guys that are in the membership, which should cost $4.95 a month on the YouTube channel, you, if you haven't already bought, you can buy up to five ounces of my silver. Um, either the five ounce bars or the five ounce Halloween pours. Um, for $2.50 over spot. So uh, pick those up today if you want to join the membership. You can join anytime this month um, and you'll get access to, uh, to that really cheap buy price. And then I've got some other stuff in the store. Just ask me for a friend discount. And uh, we'll, I like to give you guys discounts. You know, I'd rather sell to a friend than to a stranger. Okay, here's the five ounce bars that members can buy one of each month. Um, at that 250 over spot level and you pick when to lock in the price. Here's some stuff on eBay that you may need. Check it all out. We're going to get to the cards. Okay, so uh, the Amex card I recommend. Definitely the eBay card I recommend. The Wells Fargo card um, gets you one and a, it gets you 2% back everywhere. That is a decent card as well. And um, But the card that a member told me about the other day is the um, Chase um, credit card. Let's see. So Chase credit card offers. Now here's the deal with this. It's got rotating categories. So you pick a new category every quarter and they rotate. Now um, I believe it is the Freedom or the Freedom Flex and even the Sapphire card or the Sapphire card. But uh, if we look at the Freedom Flex, what they're going to do is give you a 5% cash bonus. They're going to give you 200 bucks when you spend a few bucks um, in the first three months. And then you're going to get a 5% quarterly bonus category. The subscriber told me that this card works on PayPal in the fourth quarter. And uh, they may not offer the PayPal rebate every quarter. May only be in the fourth quarter, may never happen again, but we're in the fourth quarter. You can select PayPal as the 5% rebate category and get 5% back um, on your precious metals purchases. This is all uh, information provided to me, and I cannot uh, verify that. I haven't tried it myself. Uh, matter of fact, I had a Chase card, and I let it expire. Maybe I'll have to get another one. But there is a limit, okay? up to $1,500 in combined purchases in a quarter. So basically, you're at uh, you know two tubes of silver eagles or a half ounce piece of gold. Um, so um, don't think it's unlimited. It's a very limited card. Um, and if you already have it, 
check out these extra rewards and change your category to, uh, to PayPal this quarter. Uh, if you're thinking about that and you are a small buyer, you know, you're only buying 10 ounces of silver at a time or something, definitely this would make sense for you. But uh, the heavy hitters uh, would not even mess with that. Okay, so uh, you're going to do better with a sustained 3% rebate on PayPal and American Express. Um, so that's what's up with that, and good luck with that. Let me know your experience if you already use that. Uh, that was new to me. I did not know that, and I'm not a fan of rotating category cards. Um, I just got too many irons in the fire to uh, like be thinking about what categories I want to pick this quarter. All right, you guys have jumped on these Libertads. Good for you, the Owneses. Maybe there were fewer of them than I thought there were, but uh, that was a smoking deal. Uh, 36, 37 bucks on uh, 40 year old Owneses. That's why I said get them before they're Gonza. G O N Z A. Uh, mm -hmm. Some people didn't get that. Okay, this one gram gold uh, is going to be cheaper. Well, why didn't they drop the price? Gold is falling. Now it's 100.51. I don't think they dropped the price on that. So uh, we'll see. Uh, but that's not a bad intro into fractional gold if you just have an itty bitty um, gold budget. And I think over the next couple weeks, you can be buying gold again. You can buy gold anytime, but I think it's going to show some weakness here. Uh, whereas silver, I do think, is going to explode to the upside because of the industrial story. Okay, um, and this 50 peso coin is big for in gold, but 32, 37 over at JM Bullion. You can do the math on that, see if you like that foreign gold offering. And uh, five ounce libs, what did they go to? They ought to be getting cheaper now. 192 for a five ounce lib at at Monument Metals. We we'll don't know the mintage on any of the Libertad so far. Other fun stuff on the picks of the day. You can check that out. And I uh, will kind of wrap it up here, I think. Uh, was there something else? The coin shops on YouTube. Uh, check all three of these coin shops uh, out. And they are doing uh, just monster sales every day. Um, uh, very, very cheap silver and reasonably priced gold as well. And also some uh, Morgans and Peace Dollars in the slab, if you like that. Um, he never has any Carson City Morgans, though. Hardly ever. Um, uh, which would be the coin I would buy for collector value. So uh, check that out. Check that out at Vermilion for those Morgans and Peace Dollars. Also for his junk. Uh, I think he's 50 cents over spot for junk now. He was a dollar. First he was at spot. Then he was like a dollar over. Now he's like 50 cents over. Minot I think was a little cheaper on junk. Could have been at spot. Coin Huskers I don't recall. Um, so And find out what their shipping charges are. Uh, unless you're making a big order over a thousand dollars to get free shipping, Vermilion does not have free shipping, and his shipping is a little pricey. I think he loads in the cost of insurance on that, because I can ship stuff way cheaper than he's charging. But uh, I think he's charging you for the insurance. Uh, just guessing there. Maybe maybe that's not true. Uh, do support my work here if you like what I'm doing and you're making hay while the sun shines. And today there could be some hay to be made. Uh, check out newretirement.com slash bolden. And uh, this is a sponsor of the channel. And you will like this financial tool in planning your retirement, your early retirement, your late retirement. Or maybe you're never going to retire, but maybe you can if you plan it properly. A uh, very, very powerful tool there in a two-week free trial. Thank you for the cups of coffee, my friends. I do appreciate that. And for the channel memberships, we are up to 20 members. And uh, all you have to do is click the Join button, and you'll be in with the membership here. And I hope you'll get some value from that, even if you don't want to get my bars at a good price. All right, other tools I recommend, other products I recommend. And we're going to wrap it there. We'll go back and check Spot one more time. And uh, where is Spot? There we go. And let me just reload that. So it's going to be a heartbreaking day. We're not going to get to push over um, resistance. Uh, matter of fact, we're going to probably have a significant sell-off today. And there we go. Uh, gold down 13 bucks. I think gold could see 2600 Probably not lower than that, though. And silver down $0.21. Cents. Uh, yeah, we'll have to see what happens when this gets rolling. And uh, non August non-form payrolls revised up. All right, more bullish news, um, which is killing it. Man, the 10-year is flying. What happened to dropping rates? Boy, that seems to be a thing of the past. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for the thumbs up and the subscription if you want to see more than this. And I will see you guys tomorrow. 
good luck hunting out there. And I'm headed to the LCS today. Yeah, man.